Okay, hi. Welcome to my channel. This is my first video ever, and today we're going to be doing um, kind of like a try-on review of the June Boxy Lux. So I've got everything out of the box already because I kind of wanted to know what I had to do to start to get ready, what I needed to put on my face, and what we were do together. So obviously not much on at the moment because there are some skin products here that I wanted to go through. All I've got on right now is just some of this Pixie Skin Drink moisturizer and then a little bit of lip balm as well. So the first product in the box is from Dr. Brandt and it's a cleanser. What is it? It's the Clean Biotic pH Balanced Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. So I did give this a go. Um, it's pretty nice. Left my skin feeling super clean. Nothing out of the ordinary. I mean it's just basic everyday cleanser. So based on the little card that comes in the box the MSRP of this product is $35, so that's pretty nice. I will continue to use it. It's nothing outrageous, nothing better than I've ever used before, but it is just a standard cleanser, so always comes in handy. The next item is in this little bag, so it's actually a little, like a mini hair dryer. Looks like this. It's pretty cute. Two settings, so you've got like a high intensity and low intensity. There's also a couple of different um, attachments. So there's like a little diffuser for doing curls, waves, and then there's also just this little one here that kind of focuses the airstream a little bit more. I did give this a go as well. I did have some issues with it. Probably not something I'll continue to use. I'd much rather my full-sized hair dryer. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it gets the job done. It dried my hair, but it's not great. So based on the little card in the BoxyCharm box, this little PYT on the go turbo hair dryer, it's MSRP is $85, which I think is pretty insane. I would definitely not pay that much for that little hair dryer. I paid less for the one that I use on an everyday basis and it's much better. So uh, not something I would go for, but I mean, it does come in handy if it's the type of thing that you would use. And then next up is this. It's from Living Proof. It's the full dry volume blast, instant lasting volume and texture. So it's a styling and finishing spray. From what I've read on the little card, it's basically just to give you some extra volume and texture. It offers UV protection, silicone free and safe for colored and chemically treated hair. Based on the directions on the bottle, you have to really shake it in between each spray. So I'm just going to give it a shot. I haven't really done anything with my hair except for blow drying it. So we will see if this helps at all. Shake in between, and then I'll just do another little section. So I'm kind of spraying it right at the root, and I can feel, even without tousling it, it definitely feels stiffer. So if I just kind of run my fingers through, it definitely does add some volume. I feel like if I were actually going to take the time and style the hair, it would be much better. But I can feel extra texture. It does have more lift. You can kind of see the difference. This side is a little more flat. This side is a little fuller. So I am just going to put it on the other side. Just so that I'm not lopsided. Okay, so yeah, definitely gives the hair a lot more grip. I would definitely feel like this would be more beneficial if I were actually styling the hair, but just based on first impression, it's definitely doing what it says it's supposed to do, which is great. <laughs> so nothing too exciting with the hair today, but 
that's pretty nice. I think I'm going to continue to use that for sure. Definitely seems like something I would reach for. And then based on the little card, the retail value of this is $29. So actually not too bad. Not too expensive. Definitely something I would purchase. We have um, this. It's the only product I'm actually not going to test on camera because it's a night serum. So it's from Pharmacy. It's called the Honeymoon Glow Night Serum. Hydrating Honey Gentle Flower Acids. So I'm just going to pop this out. If I can. It looks really nice. So it definitely has like a more high-end kind of feel to it. Packaging is weighted. It feels nice and sturdy. And it has a nice little pump. So I just want to see what the texture would be. So it kind of looks like a cream, almost, yeah, just like a thin kind of lotion. Definitely feels really nice when you rub it in. There is a scent, but it's not that nice. It really smells like honey, but also not. It's weird. It almost reminds me of the smell of like a garbage bag, like a trash bag when you first pull it out of the case. Weird. I don't know. It just has a weird smell, but it does feel really nice when it's rubbed into the skin. So I definitely will be using it, just not right now because I've already got like my moisturizer on for the day but I am a big fan of doing skincare before bed so this is definitely going to be well used I'm sure and for that the Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum retail value of $58 so definitely not cheap I do have some high hopes for this I'm really looking forward to using that for sure um, and that's pretty much it for skin and hair care. The rest of the items, we have one, two, three, four, five items left. Um, and they're all makeup items, so we can get to kind of play around with those. So in total, we've had one, two, three, we've had nine products in the box this month for Boxy Lux, which is awesome. I love the months when we get Boxy Lux. It's a much bigger box than normal. This is the box that it came in this month. Usually the boxy charm boxes are smaller. So the box deluxe is always something to look forward to. You do have to pay extra for it, of course, but I think it's worth it. This is the first still kind of skincare, but more towards the makeup side of things. It's from um, Touch and Soul, and it's a primer. So it's the No Pore Blum Prime Essence. Um, there was actually a different primer from Touch and Soul in one of the BoxyCharm boxes a few months ago, but it was more like a standard traditional kind of primer. It comes in like a little glass jar with a pump. I do still use it, but it's just in my bathroom. Um, so this, I'm hoping, will be really great because I really do like that other primer, but it is an essence, and when you shake it, it sounds really liquidy. So... I'm definitely expecting it to be a little bit different, but from what I understand, you just use it like a regular primer. Yeah, the last step of skincare, apply a moderate amount and gently pat over the skin until it is fully absorbed. Okay, yeah, so definitely very runny. I'm just going to rub it between my fingertips and get it onto the skin. Can't really hold it up to show because it just ran in between my fingers. It's very, very thin. Like a very thin consistency, but rubbing it in feels really nice. And my skin was feeling really fresh beforehand anyway because I did put on the moisturizer and I did do that little cleanser from Dr. Brandt beforehand. So... Definitely feels nice on the skin. My skin is looking very glowy. I don't know if it's just the primer because I know the moisturizer that I use, that little pixie skin drink, that does leave my skin quite glowy as well. But I like kind of a dewy look underneath my makeup, so we shall see. So far, I like this. Definitely something that I will be using. I love primers. And I'm always excited to try new ones, so definitely something that I'm happy with. Okay, Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence MSRP is $23, so definitely not cheap, but it's 
it's affordable if it's you know something that you're going to use quite often I'm pretty happy and it does feel kind of tacky now that it's worked into the skin but I'm also not sure it might just be this because that does tend to be quite tacky as well but two of them mixed together on top of the skin it's making things look pretty nice it's kind of a great base from what I have a preference to lean toward when I'm looking at base underneath my foundation. So I'm quite happy, definitely will be using that primer. It's a thumbs up from me. Uh, the next couple of products are base products as well. I'm just gonna hop off camera and do my base, so foundation, concealer, powder, brows. I'll do that really quick. And then I'll be right back and we can get into the rest of the products. Okay, so I am back. I've got my base done so all I did was foundation concealer brows powder the rest um, it's gonna come from the box so we're gonna go through that together I'm gonna finish the face first and I've got a little palette here to try out from Tarte it's the Tartist Pro Glow 3 palette so I believe it has two blushes two highlights and two bronzers so I'm just gonna take this out has really cute packaging. It opens up in the front and there's a little plastic thing that falls out, <laughs> but it opens up like this. So it's really cute. Two blushes on top, two highlighters, two bronzers. I really like the shades. One of the bronzers is super like glittery. I uh, don't know if you'll really pick that up, but one is matte, one is really glittery. I'm just going to try some of these out. I don't know if they have, oh yeah, they do. We do have little shade names. So I'm going to try the lighter blush right here. And that one is called Dance Floor. I'm going to apply that with the JH06 Morphe brush. It's a big fluffy blush brush. Okay, so I just dipped my brush into that blush. I don't know if you can see, but look at all the powder. So they're very powdery. Mm. It's very dusty. So I'm just going to sweep that onto the apples of my cheeks. And then kind of blend it around. So I'm just sweeping that along the cheeks. I'm going to use the matte bronzer, I think. This one here is kind of glittery. This one is matte, but it is very warm, which is fine. And that shade is called Autograph. I believe <laughs> so we're using this one here I'm just using like a regular powder brush the bronzer is not as dusty as the blush but I just took a little bit on the brush and that's actually quite nice I really like that bronzer So I'm just going to take it, of course, in like the hollow part of my cheek. And then a little bit on like the forehead area as well. And then highlighter. I don't know which one I want to use. They're both really pretty. One is more of like a champagne-y kind of color. Like this, which is gorgeous. And then the other is a little more pink. So this is like the champagne. And then that's the pink. So I'm going to use a pinker one. A-lister. So I'm going to take that on a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush. I'm going to dip the tip of the brush. And then I'll sweep that over the cheekbones. That's really pretty. I love, love, love that. So that's a hit. I really like the palette. I love having little face palettes. Those are super handy always. And then on the car, Tardist Pro Glow Cheek Palette Volume 3. MSRP is $45. So it is kind of pricey, but you do get six, six pans. It's like $7.50 per shade which is really not that bad next up is this i'm kind of interested about this it is from trey steak and it's a mascara so there's like a little sticker 
on it that has directions. So from my understanding, it's like a, an eyelash curler and a mascara all in one. So how to use, pull off clear cap to access half curler. So here's the half curler. Press down along lash line and hold for three to five seconds. Move across lashes to get desired curl. Twist off top for volumizing mascara. Apply as desired. Use curler and mascara together to curve lashes up to 186%. It's a very specific number, but I guess we can give it a shot. This is flip down to curl. Okay, so this is like the little handle. So you like press that and it squeezes that together. So you're meant to curl your lashes. I'm unsure about this because it's so small. Like I don't, you're not gonna be able to fit all your lashes in there at once. So I don't know if that's gonna make them look weird, but we will try it. So right into the base of the lash. Just gonna hold it there. I'm just going to kind of pulse it a little like I normally do when I curl my lashes. But yeah, the end is curled and I have to kind of move over <laughs> to get the other part. I don't know, this just seems kind of weird. And it's kind of making like certain sections are curling more than others. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a cute idea, but I feel like it's not that practical. Like if I was getting ready to go somewhere, I really don't think that I would do this. So then you unscrew to get the wand. Okay, so the wand is actually pretty nice. Just so you can see, there's a little bit of like a curve in the middle. So it doesn't look too thick. It looks like a pretty nice mascara. So I'm just going to kind of wiggle that through. The mascara itself is very nice. And you can see as I'm brushing it on that my lashes are definitely curled. But I do really like this formula. The mascara itself is really nice. I'm going to do a little on the lower lashes as well. So yeah, I do like the mascara. You can see the difference. It's really nice. I'm just going to quickly do the other eye. Okay, so formula-wise, I really do like the mascara itself. I think it goes on really nice. It comes through the lash as well. The brush is a brush that I like. Um, the curler portion, I think, is just super gimmicky. It's not really that convenient. It's much easier just to use a regular eyelash curler. Uh, I wouldn't reach for this to curl my lashes, but I think I would definitely reach for it for the mascara itself because I do really like the formula and the brush. So it's kind of like, um, <laughs> like a half and half. The top part I'm not a fan of, but the product itself I really do enjoy. And then in terms of price, this one here retails for $25. So it is pretty pricey for a mascara. I understand you're supposed to be getting kind of a two-in-one deal, but not something that I would actually go and purchase in a store, I don't think. Next up is a lip gloss. This one is from Dominique Cosmetics. I actually haven't tried anything from this brand before, so I was really excited to get this in the box. The shade is called Peach Tea, and it is a really, really cute shade. I did kind of open it up just to take a peek. So, it looks like this. It's very pink. It's really cute, really girly. I like the packaging. It is plasticky, so it feels a little cheap, but it is really pretty looking. So I'm just going to pop this on really quick. It isn't too fancy, just a regular lip gloss. It smells really nice. It smells almost like cookies or cake. Like it smells sweet. Not overly pigmented. It's like it's trying to be pigmented, so it's almost a little streaky. You really got to swipe it across. You can see. Not much of a difference. It's just kind of a sheen. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not earth shattering, but it's definitely not bad. 
I think it would be something that I would put over top of a more pigmented lipstick rather than something I would use on its own just because there's like not really much pigment there. It is kind of a thicker consistency but it's not sticky so it does feel really comfortable. I would wear it. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just kind of like a standard lip gloss in my opinion. And that one there is $17. So it is kind of expensive in my opinion for what it is. You can get really similar products at the drugstore for much less. <laughs> and then there's one more product here which is a spray. It's from Skin & Co. Yep, it's the Truffle Therapy Radiant Dew Mist. And it does say that you can use it to set your makeup or refresh your skin throughout the day. So it is a setting spray. Mm. It looks finer than it feels when it hits you in the face. It does kind of feel like a, like a spritz. And the smell of it, it's almost got like a peppermint scent. And it's a really strong scent as well. So I'm not a huge fan of super strong scents. And there is a little bit of a glow, which is nice because I do like that dewy look. It's just like, ooh, it's like an overwhelming smell <laughs> when you put it on. So for the Radiant Dew Mist, that one retails at $35, which it's a little pricey, but mm, kind of it's comparable to other sprays, but I do feel like I have other sprays that I would reach for before this, just mainly because of the scent of it. It's very strong. <laughs> so that's just my personal opinion. And that's all of the products in the box this month. So everything added up together equals $352, which is pretty great. Like that's expensive if you were going to buy all of these individually. I'm just going to double check and see because for me in Canada, there is like um, an exchange rate, there's shipping and duties. So every month the box tends to be a little bit of a different price. And like I did say, this was more expensive because it is the boxy luxe. So I just want to double check and see what exactly it was for this month. So for this month, for the boxy luxe for me, it was $80.61 Canadian. And then the value was about $3.52 US. So there is definitely a higher value in the box than what you're paying. But by all means, it's not cheap to opt for the luxe option it is more pricey but you kind of get what you pay for i'm happy with the box this month in terms of products i think overall most of them were a hit for me i really do like them if i had to pick one thing that i think was kind of the worst the thing i didn't like most in the box would definitely be the little hair dryer the pyt definitely not something i'll be using i'll probably give it to my mom because she does like to go camping and things like that with my dad so i feel like she would use that more than me it's not something i would reach for i didn't have a great experience with it so i'll probably be passing that off to her in terms of my favorite item in the box this month, I would probably say the little Tarte palette, the Tardis Pro Glow. I think that's something that I like definitely the most. The skincare I like. It's not, you know, something I'm overly excited about. I do have a lot of skincare already. I always look forward to the makeup items more because they're more fun to play with, obviously, but overall I think it was a really great box this month. Let me know what you thought. What was your most favorite and your least favorite? Did you guys get the boxy? Lux as well. It's just about everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe, please like, please comment. I would love to get some more uh, requests, I guess, for other videos you'd like to see. I'd be more than happy to oblige. And I will be back very soon with another video. Like I said, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.